In this topic, we're going to discuss gametogenesis and focus on spermatogenesis. So we look at what is gametogenesis, what are the different gametes, what is the structure of the sperm and secondary oocyte, what are the hormones involved in spermatogenesis, and then describe the different steps in spermatogenesis. Sexual reproduction leads to genetic diversity amongst the offspring it produces. This diversity allows organisms to evolve in response to the changing world around them. Now, essential to sexual reproduction are gametes, which are produced by a mechanism called gametogenesis. In mammals, gametogenesis takes two forms. You've got spermatogenesis in the males and oogenesis in the females. The gametes are haploid reproductive cells that fuse with another gamete of the opposite sex, so they form a diploid zygote, which marks the beginning of a new individual. In humans, you've got two types of gametes. So you've got the spermatozoa, which are your sperm, and the secondary oocyte, which is often called the egg or ovum. Sometimes it's referred to as the ovum, um, but strictly speaking, this is incorrect because, as we'll see in another topic, the secondary meiotic division, which produces the ovum, only takes place after the head of the sperm enters the secondary oocyte, so after fertilization has taken place. So to be completely correct, the female gamete is actually the secondary oocyte, but often textbooks call it the ovum. So looking at the structure of the sperm, the male and female gametes are quite different in mammals. So the sperm are very small, they are motile, and they're produced in vast numbers. So they've got large numbers of mitochondria to provide energy in the form of ATP. This is used to mo uh, move the flagellum, and it also helps to produce enzymes of the acrosome. So it provides energy for the production of enzymes. The secondary oocyte is a larger non-motile food storing cell and it's produced in much smaller numbers. So in this diagram here you can see at the bottom fertilization taking place. So the sperm is penetrating a layer of cells around that secondary oocyte which is called the zona pellucida which we'll look at in the next topic. Can you think of what hormones would be involved in spermatogenesis? Well, you've got the follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, luteinizing hormone, LH, and testosterone. So the process includes different phases. You've got multiplication, growth, and maturation. So multiplication is where you have mitosis, increasing the number of cells. Growth is where the cell prepares for meiotic division. And then maturation includes the first and second meiotic divisions. Then the cells differentiate. So looking at the actual process, you've got germinal epithelial cells which line the seminiferous tubules and these undergo repeated mitosis. This forms about six layers of cells and some of these cells remain as germinal cells. Others become spermatogonia. Notice how the cells are still diploid, so they're still 2N in the multiplication phase. The spermatogonia increase in size and they form the primary spermatocyte, which is still diploid.
The primary spermatocyte undergoes the first stage of meiosis, so meiosis 1, and this forms the secondary spermatocyte. The secondary spermatocytes undergo the second stage of meiosis, so meiosis 2, to form spermatids. So notice how the number has changed from 2N, the primary spermatocyte, to N, the secondary spermatocyte. And also notice how in total you've got four haploid spermatids. These spermatids enter the lumen of the seminiferous tubule where they mature by spermatogenesis into spermatozoa. They're nourished by the Sertoli cells and these Sertoli cells also provide support. So here you can see another diagram. Let's have a look at the different steps. You've got the spermatogonia are being formed by mitosis inside the germinal epithelial cells on the outside of the seminiferous tubule. The primary spermatocyte is formed when the spermatogonia increase in size. Notice how it's still a diploid cell. It's after meiosis 1 that the secondary spermatocyte is formed. The second meiosis division occurs and then you've got four spermatids. So notice how it went from 2N at the primary spermatocyte to N, a haploid cell, at the secondary spermatocyte. And then finally you've got differentiation which form the spermatozoa. So the Sertoli cells provide nutrients and these spermatids undergo differentiation to form spermatozoa which you can see with their tails sticking out into the lumen. So how do you remember all these different terms? Well think of the acronym or term gone to site tidzo. So in order you've got the germinal epithelial cells undergoing mitosis to form spermatogonia. So that's your gone, which form primary spermatocytes, secondary spermatocytes, spermatids, spermatozoa. Can you remember where mitosis and meiosis are occurring. Well you've got mitosis between the epithelial cells and spermatogonia, then you've got growth, meiosis 1, meiosis 2, and differentiation. And that concludes our lesson. The end.